Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Thank you very much to everyone in the chat for helping me out here. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, in this video, we're going to talk about the current avatar boards available, and we're also going to talk about the previous ones. So, these are gone, right? Uh, right now, we have available Nick and Judy, um, and uh, what is it, Yuffie and KH Cloud, right? All right, so let's take a look at these medals. Let's look at, take a look at these. Uh, let's take, let's start with Nick and Judy. Uh, if you get Nick and Judy, I actually never finished completing Nick and Judy. You get, I think you get exactly the same thing. Unfortunately, for those of us who already purchased ones, we can't purchase it again. So we can't take advantage of the potentiality of having traits. Not a Nick and Judy, but definitely on Yuffie and Cloud. So uh, if you get both of these boards, if you get both Yuffie and Cloud, you do get all four of these, all four of the illustrated Yuffies. Um, is this a good metal? I still use her once in a while. Uh, I use Yuffie and I use uh, Illustrated Sid, actually. I still use both of them. Let's go look at Yuffie. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a trade on her, though. So, this is what Illustrated Yuffie comes out to. She has a 2.83 multiplier, single attack, one gauge cost. Um, she does a lot of damage. She actually does do a lot of damage. Someone just asked, am I salty? The boards are half price now. No, but I kind of wish they would have made it possible for us to like, I don't know, like anyone who already purchased one, you get an, a free one. Like you get, I don't know, you get a free Yuffie. Like if we went back into them, we got a free Yuffie just for a reroll opportunity. Just because it's, it's one of those things where at this point right now in the game, if let's say for me, if I hadn't bought this board in the past, I wouldn't buy it right now. Uh, I'm not going to spend 1500 for an attack boost 2 in APP and a, um, a tier 2 medal. Even if it has traits, I'm not going to spend that for it now. But I did spend 3000 for it the first time. <sighs> okay. Anyway. Uh, so let's let's keep talking here. Let's go back to the other one. Uh up. Boop, and avatar boards so yeah so those are for those if you're interested in getting them and if you are a newer player uh if you don't have the capacity to let's say finish the high events or you don't have the jewels for thir for three thousand jewels you are able to get a tier two pretty powerful metal that will take you far uh but then again if you have other metals that are currently available then there's no real reason to go to that point right now that's my, at least that's my opinion. All right, so let's go other. Let's go to notices, uh, and let's check out the current avatar board, which is going to be. Is this it? No. Oops. I can't. I wish they had the notice on here. Flashy avatar parts. Okay, flashy avatar parts. Um. Okay. So, uh, get fancy exclusive juggler and dancer med outfits. Why is the guy the juggler and the girls are the dancers? Stock up with bonus medals like Chip, Dale, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, Sid 10, and Magic Mirrors, as well as Speed Gems. I need those Magic Gems. Uh, get the A Attack Boost 3 plus AP plus Lux plus Metal, which I am calling the Trinity. So get the Trinity as well as SP Attack H1 and Attack Boost 3 Max. Whoa. Um, so, what are we getting in each one? We're going to get uh, three 6-star Chips, three 6-star Dales, one 10 Sid, two Magic Mirrors, and all three of the skills. One Speed Gem and the Carnival and the titles. Um, is this worth getting both of them? Yes, it is. I'm going to get both of them. So I'm going to get the first one first. Okay. Uh, let's go take a look at it and collect it. So we get juggler. We get juggler gloves. We get necklace. We get head ornament. We get the earrings and the wings. Aren't the wings the one that are give us a percent of something? Let's see. Um, let's go back to the notices. Flashy avatar parts. What do the wings give? The wings give... No, wait. The earrings give Raid Boss plus 10. Um, necklace, perk plus 5, and accessory 
The wings give a skill perk plus three. How much does um how much does genie balloon give? We'll go check after. There it is. Trinity. SP attack age one. Attack boost max three. Speed gem. Magic mirror. Magic mirror. Sit ten. Dale. Chip. Dale. Chip. Dale. And chip. All right. And there's the carnival. Is it carnival? Hmm. All right. So let's go take a look at the accessory first. Oh, actually, before I forget, um, SB1, AB3 max. And yeah, it's worth it. I want to get it. Okay. I got it now so I don't forget later because you guys know I've done that before where uh, we get to the very last day and I'm like, oh, no, I forgot to buy it. So I bought it because I need it. Uh, let's go take a look at the accessory first. Oh, my goodness. With wings on this outfit. All right, so we're gonna go to accessories. We're gonna remove the. Well, let's go take a look first at the um, at the spark. Well, what I have right now. There's the juggler earrings. It gives you a plus ten raid boss perk. Uh, I may have to change my raid omega. I might have to change my raid omega setup a little bit actually. Um, there's a skill perk there. Here are the wings. Okay, so sparkles I have right now. Uh, juggler accessory has a plus three. And where is the... Oh, but no, the balloon is something else, isn't it? Plus three skill perk. Okay, so it, it does count as the... <laughs> uh, see, the, the wings are too small. It's not even my final form. Ah, <laughs> uh, All right. Okay. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, that's interesting. All right. So, let's go back. And let's go take a look at the actual skill. <laughs> it's not even my final form yet. All right. Let's go take a look at this brand new skill we just got. So, AB3 Max... Um, I think I got those boards more for the AB3 Max than anything else. SP1 are awesome too. Uh, and you guys also know that if I do put my, um, if I do put my other, um, my other, um, Sebastian into my other Sebastian, I'm going to lose an SP1. So getting this SP1 is going to be, it's, it's going to be good for me. Uh, in that sense, there's the SP1. Where is the, there's the AB3. Okay. AB3 Max. Uh, and AB3 Maxes, oh, they're always good to have. So. AB3 plus AP plus Lux. Um, this is a skill that will give you uh, attack boost 3, which is a 1.6. Uh, it's going to give you APP and it's going to give you Lux plus. So who would this metal be good to use on? Because of the AP and the Lux, uh, I'd have to say you're going to have to use this metal on a, um, on a uh, farming... Um, what's it called? On a farming uh, Lux quest metal. Okay. Uh, <laughs> people are posting funny stuff. Uh, so let's go back up and I'm going to show you. So the metal that I've used the most so far to exemplify this has been Sora, Donald, and Goofy Bean. Um, it's been the metal that I have been using quite a bit, but I will tell you right now, once I guilt the KDG metal, I'm going to use it on this one too. I'm going to use a Trinity on this one. Actually, I actually should just put one on one now because I need to use it later for the high score challenge. Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, so I'm going to use it there. But for me personally, I would use it in a metal like that. What other metal would I use it on? Um, I would use it on HD Beast if you haven't guilted. HD Ursula also. Uh, I wouldn't use it on an AoE metal because, again, we want to save the, the, max, the max skills for those. Uh, if you're going to be using a, an AoE metal is because you want the guaranteed damage all around. You don't want the... if for example, it's going to work. So, for example, Maleficent B. Is Maleficent B a metal that is worth putting a uh, max skill on? Um, yeah, I think I think it is. I think she is. Is she worth having this Trinity medal? Not really because you're not going to get it every single time. And if it doesn't trigger, then you're going to be stuck in the cost of five costs without getting anything regained. Now, if you're going to be using KH to illustrate KH to Kyrie along with this, this medal, then yeah, you're going to have enough SP. Um, but... 
also for event medals um i haven't finished working on my Malefic my, Malefic my maleficent b yet um right now she has max gauges two which is not bad at all this one has the extra thousand strength and this is the one that i'm trying to get a better guilt on uh, i'm probably going to use like five more of these into this one to try and get a better guilt um really hoping that it'll work i'll probably take these two up too before i before i do that to try and put them in there um but let's look at a brand new metal we have vex and b is vex and b worth having this ab3 um oh 2.81 multiplier so he's gonna max out oh you know what yeah uh if you don't have anyone else have passed yeah um he's not going to be a complete game changer though he's not going to be a metal that you're going to be like oh my goodness he is the best thing ever but if we look at it from the point of view of event medals for a one cost he would he would come to wrap up your setup pretty well jafar genie would jafar would be really good too to have that metal I already have an AB2 plus Lux on him. But yeah, any basically what I would like to say is any metal that you might think, oh, um, I should put uh, an AB something plus Lux on this metal. Those are the metals that you need to think about for this one. And the fact that you have the AP does give you a little bit of room and leeway in thinking, oh, you know what? I should probably put uh, AB, uh, I should probably put this metal on it because if I'm spending a little bit of, of Lux on here, sorry, of um, SP on this metal, then having the um, AP also here is going to give you a little bit of a boost. Now, for example, let me show you guys what I have. I have on my SCGB, which is, I think it's still my shared metal, isn't it? Yeah, it's still my shared metal. This is the metal I share all the time uh, for my party members. Um, so my SCGB does have an AB3 plus Lux. I would put the AB3 plus AP plus Lux on this one. Um, plus, but I think it's going to be better on the KDG metal and then sharing it for my party members. Especially when it comes if I get a good guilt on it. I don't know if I'm going to guilt it on Monday. Hmm. I don't know. I might. I might. We're going to have to look at it. Um, because if I get a good guilt on Monday for it, then I can potentially do the um, uh, the high score challenge one last time on Monday. Because remember, the high score challenge doesn't go away until Monday. And I just saw how glorious my Moogle looks. Look at that. Look how glorious I look. Anyway, uh, there you guys go. That is the avatar boards for that one. Um, for this, this week, I guess, or for this time around. Uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and collect... Well, do I have to collect them all? Where are the mirrors on this one? There's the mirrors. So I'm probably going to collect up to here to the mirrors and leave these guys in here for later. Uh, just because I am gearing up to do another um, Nova video soon. Um, I really wish we could... I don't know. I understand why they did both male and female ones, but I wish they would just do one so we wouldn't have to spend so much uh so yeah so thank you very much for watching guys as always i am duj2 let me make sure that i didn't want to talk about anything on this one um no we wanted to talk about trinity we wanted to talk about what it could do uh and again are these worth it that's the main question um as i said the fact that we are getting these three skills the first time we're getting three skills and you have to remember this is very important to remember uh in the future in the future we are going to get we're going to get boards. We're sorry. We're going to get banners. There will be banners where these skills are going to come back in banners. Uh, but they're going to be the banners that cost you 3,000 jewels. And it's going to be for 3,000 jewels and you can get an extra skill. In these ones for 2,500 jewels. It was 2,000. Yeah, it was. Um, you get three. You get three. SP attack age one is an incredible, incredible skill. Uh, it really, really helps out, especially with those buffers and the buffers. And as we're getting more in the future. Um... Attack boost 3 max right now is one of the best there is uh, until the end of the Coliseum, but we still have, what, 20-something days left? Oh, not even that. Whoa, it's the 14th. We're halfway through the month. Wow. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. So, AB3 max is still an amazing metal, especially when you have a very strong AoE metal that might come out, and if you're able to guilt it, even better. And, of course, the new Trinity metal. It's not a max metal. It's not. But it is a very, very good farming lux metal now as time goes by too we've also noticed that the competition it in lux rankings has increased i would not be surprised if very soon we start getting different rewards 
and that will ramp up the competition in Lux Grinding even more. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I am DUJ2. This has been Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, talking about the current boards available. Uh, for those of us who already purchased the previous boards, uh, they are very, very, they were very good at a certain point. Uh, if you are currently starting out in the game and you don't have that many jewels, uh, and you need, um, especially now that we have traits, now that we have traits, uh, now that we have the capacity to guilt, um, guilt the medals, get the traits, and in this one, the fact that you can guilt the medal, it's going to take you very far. A guilted medal will take you much farther, much farther, of course, than a not non-guilted medal. Uh, and these avatar board ones have proved very well. Unless you are going to be spending a lot of money and a lot of jewels and pulling in the banners, then I would say you probably don't need these. Uh, you're going to get attack boost 2s. You're going to get defense boost 2s. You're going to get other skills like that from Colosseum and, other, and the Colosseum boards and other stuff. Uh, you're not going to get APP though. So if you're a brand new player, APP, the only, the only reason why I might go for these would be for the SIDS and the APP. Uh, just because APP skill is very important when you're starting out. But then again, if you're currently just started playing and you pulled five times for that Kyrie, then you don't need that. Food for thought. Thank you very much, guys. And um, see you guys next time.